Yo, 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 what's up, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Candle Trucker, checking in, man. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, do all that good shit for your boy, man. Got this load from Chicago going to Bedford, Park, uh, Bedford PA. Um, and then I got another stop in York, PA. All right, boom. The first stop in Bedford deliver Monday at 6.30. Bam. The second stop deliver in York, PA. So when my dispatcher sent me the load, I'm like, is you sure this load paying it? But I ain't telling that I'm shit. I you said the number and that's the number, so fuck it. It is what it is. You dig? So man, I get the load. I'm like, this bitch six hundred, seven hundred miles. So boom, he told me. I asked him. I said, hey, so how far is my next load? And we'll do, do. he's like, you going to Bedford Park? I mean Bedford, PA. I'm like, I right, bet. Now he said York, PA, because that's a, the final stop. He like, man, you going to York, PA? So I'm like, I right, bet. This, this bitch probably ain't gonna pay nothing, really. Then, cause I'm like, that bitch about 600, 700 miles from Chicago. Then he sent me the load, then he sent me the rate. The rate was $4,000. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, we in the game, coach. You feel me? I'm like, ah, oh, bet. So this load pay $4,000, but I know why it paid good like that. Because um, I got that York PA, we gotta go to that Unify. Them bitches take forever, bro. Like, it's really crazy. They try to pay you good so they ain't gotta pay you no detention for your ass waiting at that bitch all day. So good thing my load delivered at 3.30 in the morning. Me, I don't even trip when I'm at these damn uh, receivers and shit. I just go to sleep. Man, when it's time for me to get up, y'all will knock on my door, trust me. I ain't waiting up. I ain't like more drivers. I ain't waiting and, and all over it stressed out. I'm gonna close my blind and I'm gonna go to sleep on their ass. Shit, if I look back out, I'm gonna look in the window, I'm gonna wait till they start loading me red. By the time I wake up, if it's green, I know. They unloaded me, you feel me? So, uh, man, I ain't finna let these people scratch me. I'm, I'm out here trying to get to the bacon. So I know I'm gonna be there uh, for a long ass time. So I'm mentally prepared for it, you know? So good thing my load delivered at three o'clock in the morning. So if I do leave at 12 noon, shit, I done, I done slept for six, seven hours. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, man, right now I'm in Fremont, Indiana. I could have drove farther today, but this bitch don't, the first stop don't deliver to like 6.30. PM Monday. Today's Sunday is about five, six o'clock in the morning. And um I just didn't really feel like leaving out, man. I just drove for an hour and stopped. I'm on the border of Ohio and Indiana. So I'll ride the rest of the way in the morning. I just need to take a break, man. This shit. I'm tired. Been running my ass off. You know, so that's just what's going on with me right now, man. But man. I just want to holler at y'all about, man, we got to stick to the plan. We got to stick to the agenda, you know? So uh, when I came over here to Nationwide, I had a plan for it. And I feel like I somewhat achieved my goal. I mean, if I still was leasing, I probably would have been damn near finished with, I ain't gonna say damn near finished with the lease. But the type of money that I ran up, I could have probably paid a year off at the end. I probably would have did two years on the lease and then paid it off at the end you know, the uh, the rest of the amount of the money. Because like I said, I, I made a bag, really. And uh, basically, shit, I, I got the house off Nationwide, to be honest, working with their ass for that little, that little year. And uh, ran my money up, bought a house, and you know, that was one of my goals at the beginning of the year to do, and I did that, you know. So uh, I'm just blessed to be in the situation that I'm in, you know. Like I said, trucking changed my life. But it didn't come out bullshitting and you know, not working hard, thinking that somebody gonna give you something. I had to really get out here and grind and work. I'm talking about three months at a time, four months at a time, working hard. Like, it wasn't no easy shit going on. Like, they ain't give me shit. You know, I wasn't expecting shit from them. I don't think I, I just wanted a fresh shake, you know? And um, I feel like I got that. And we just getting to the money. But like I said, man, you gotta stick to the plan, man. In 2023, now you gotta write down some goals that you're trying to achieve, man. And man, just do whatever needs to happen for you to achieve that goal you know cause I mean she if, if some of these companies they don't give a fuck about you your family or none of that shit mostly all of them don't really give a fuck about you but you just gotta focus you know can't be worried about what they doing really you gotta you just gotta treat it like fuck them really you know but man we get into the bag man we get into the bacon you know we ain't doing no playing around here we getting money um I want to see what my next load looking like. Cause this load for the week, it started me off right. Hopefully he sent me back to Colorado. 
I like going out there. I don't like Utah. I've been to Utah and shit. I don't really like going to Utah. I don't, that shit ain't just my stomping ground. But Denver, I can really do Denver to Pennsylvania back and forth forever. You know what I'm saying? I like doing that shit. Uh, a little 2,000 mile run back and forth. I'll do that. Uh, but Denver's straight, man. I, I like going out there, uh, seeing the mountains and shit. That shit good for your mental. But in the winter, I ain't trying to go out there, period. You know, period. So, uh, man, we just blessed. Man, I'm going to keep giving y'all these videos. Y'all be safe out there, man.